fry them up. Oh yeah. Hey everybody, this is Fry. So, really excited today. We are going to look at what is arguably the best deck in the game, Plants vs. Zombies Heroes, and that, of course, is Professor Pay to Win. This deck is almost impossible to beat consistently unless you are really focusing on what its weaknesses are and building an entire deck to sort of counter it. So, as you know, in a previous video, uh, we did make a deck that beats Professor Pay to Win that was uh, basically Mirror Nut decks. This deck is so powerful because it contains one of the strongest early game strategies in the game, which is the Barrel of Deadbeards fireworks combo. Barrel of Deadbeards, of course, you know, and fireworks when they're played together. Uh, the fireworks does one damage to every single creature on the board, so does the Barrel of Deadbeards. It could really clear your opponent's field at the same time as putting some really strong minions of your own on the field. Uh, and of course the late game is Tricksters. There's really no more powerful late game in this game than the Tricksters. They do a bonus attack right when they're played. If you teleport a Trickster in, uh, it'll do a bonus attack right when it's played and then hit again for, you know, six more damage, so it's kind of like an easy 12 damage. Uh, we're running some Vikings in this deck to basically control your opponent's block meter, just in case they're about to block it can teleport the Vikings in and uh, get rid of their block meter that way. Anyway, this deck is really the complete package. Uh, we did so amazing with it during the stream. I don't even know if we've ever won games this quickly and, you know, in this quantity uh, with any other deck before. So here it is. Check it out. I hope you enjoy. Uh, Kreplach did see your answer. Looks good. Uh, a lot of people are ans answering the riddle today, so I'm actually going to post some of those answers tonight. Um, this looks good. I wonder if we keep the dead beard here. Huh, do we keep the dead beard in this hand? Mulliganing in this deck is kind of hard. We have a couple of tricks. I'd say we'll just keep it. That's fine. What are you doing? Ross Kings here, Viper, Sander Hui. All right, ooh, we got Eureka in one. Not bad. Not bad. Go! <laughs> Give this man a firework zombie. I don't know. There's that. Okay, we got Dead Ghost. <laughs> we got Imp Commander. Uh, drawing cards might be good, and we have the free to play, free to play uh, Brain Mender him. You guys solved the riddle, so we're going to be going. Oh, there's a second Dead Beard. It's not by it. So I think we're going to put this in lane four. And whatever our opponent does, we'll just front that with the second Dead Beard uh, this next turn. That'll be fine. I'll try to play the Brain Vendor afterwards. Nothing. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go with the Imp Commander here. Uh, it'd be nice to really start playing cards, but uh, I think the Imp Commander is the best. Keep our card advantage up. Yeah, let's just do this. Make our opponent react. We'll play some tricks later. Coming with the Trickster. <laughs> Hammer. Oh, is this going to be control on this dead beard? Probably not going to get too much value out of this. Uh, could use fireworks. Give this man some fireworks. Go. Okay, so now we're gonna start playing some tricks. So we're going to want we're gonna wanna beam me up, I think, this turn. Uh we can play we can play the sad ghost. Yeah, let's go with the sad ghost. We, we just wanna get down our opponents to twelve so we can come with the tricksters. Fry him down. What's going on? Yeah, turn two riddles. So thank you again to I think it was Serial Killer yesterday who uh helped us out with that. What is this? Oh, so this is good. This is gonna be good dead beard bait. That's perfect for next turn. So we're not gonna plumber this yet. Bloomerang. That's kind of interesting. It seemed like a really control deck, but Bloomerang's a pretty aggro card. So uh, let's see what happens here. Oh, <laughs> there's fireworks. Uh, we don't even need to do the trigger here. We could, we could dead beard fireworks. Maybe we could just fireworks and then we can plumber. I'd like to keep on playing tricks here. Uh, is dead be well, Deadbeard Fireworks kills our guy, uh, but it does spawn an extra minion on the field. <laughs> it's kind of... I think we're going to save the other Deadbeard. Let's just do this. We're going to do this, and we can plumber, plumber, plumber this turn or something like that. That's fine. This explodes. Boom! This just becomes a 2-1. Oh, well. Uh, welcome. Crotopia is here for his first afternoon stream. Uh, so we'll talk about the riddle maybe a little bit later in the stream. Uh, it seems like that's getting a lot of hype. I'll be posting a YouTube video this evening. Probably kind of like towards towards the night, actually. I still want to put out the best zombies videos, which will definitely be featuring this deck. I think I'm going to give this deck a rating of 11 out of 10. <laughs> it's 
this is ridiculously good. There's plumber bait. So we'll, we'll go with the plumber here. Oh, we'll save the other one. Can we trickster next turn? Wait a second, this was turn five. If we plumber again, we can trickster next turn. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Ugh. Should we just plumber this one? The, the block meter doesn't look so so good here. No, we're, we'll, we'll, we'll save the trickster. We'll play it, you know, when it's going to guarantee be able to hit a couple times. Yeah, I hear the trick. We could plumber, but anyway. Maybe we'll just save the plumber for some removal. We're at 14 health. I like our position here. Uh, we'll go with the brain vendor. Uh -huh. Get your brains! Brains! Uh, just trying to try, put, proc the block. We're going to maybe draw some cards, use a plumber, a bonus deck, something. Probably save the bonus deck for the trickster, actually. So probably just going to be draw cards, maybe plumber. Uh, if our opponent makes a play here, <laughs> come on. Give this man a play. Frying up, do you think Wintermelon is good? I get this question a lot. Um, 30, you think we could do 30 or 40 wins? I'd be happy with 20. I think that would be a lot. I get this question a lot. Is Wintermelon good? I run one in my Rose Ramp deck. Um, it, it has a lot of uses sometimes. Uh, draw some cards. Come on, give us something good. Oh, there's chickening. Uh, do we plumber to face here? Nah, it's just going to get scorched. There's no point in plumbing. Okay, well, we'll develop. This is going to proc the blocks. So we'll develop the first trickster here. Along with a, um... I don't know. Along with a plumber, I guess. Drawing cards. Okay. Right. Alright, here comes plumber number one. Not plumber one, number one. <laughs> plumber. What am I even saying? Trickster number one. There you go. That's a lot of damage. And, uh, you know... We're going to try to, I guess we'll try to plumber somewhere this turn. Destroy a zombie. That's alright. That's okay. You're going to die anyway. Um, I think we plumber this. Uh, 2 plus 2 equals 4. Yep. Die. Boom. That's good. It charges the trickster. Very good use of a plumber there. Uh, so again, we just need one more damage before the trickster is going to come in. Like a wrecking ball. Nobody cares. Okay, so we can chickening, beam me up, beam me up. <laughs> to, we just got to set up for the trickster next turn. I actually hope, hope that... Oh, come on, man. <coughs> Give this man some water. Should this deck get nerfed somehow? I think teleport could nerf this deck, even though this is just... The Deadbeard combo is like the strongest early game, and the Trickster is like the strongest mid to range late game. He just, again, uh, there just needs to be more Mirna decks in the meta. That's how you can nerf this deck. What is this? We came in like a chickening. We're gonna chicken all day long. Give this man some chickens. Okay, so how much damage are we gonna do for Trickster? No, we don't actually don't have the Trickster finish yet. Uh, that's kind of sad. We can do Deadbeard. Came in like a chickening. I think we don't worry about our health at this point. Uh, player on Espresso for next turn. Two. No, I think we always want to do this. I think I'm going to do this too. Why not? Sure. Now we can Deadbeard and... Can we Deadbeard? Yeah, I think we Deadbeard and Trickster this turn. That'll be fun. Aha. No! Now Trickster's useless. Teleport. Aha! Uh, we can bonus attack teleport Trickster. How much is that going to cost? Bonus attack. Teleport Trickster will cost 7, 8, 9. Uh, it's almost lethal. Getting close. Go! Do the bonus attack first. That yeah, looks good to me. Bonus deck to proc the block, teleport trickster. Yeah, that's should be lethal. <laughs> should have it here. This is just playing around espresso fiesta. Eh, it would block anyway. But again, there's a lot of answers to the uh, to the riddle, so you guys can definitely try to solve it as much as you want. What is this, dude? You're annoying. Um, so I think we're gonna bonus attack this one, teleport trickster here. This will proc the block. This will be able to hit. I think that's the best play. I think this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Because now the, this Bloomerang will die to the 
to the thing. This costs five now. Now it costs four. <laughs> We're just draining our hands. The hands drain. Ah! Ooh. Here we go. Alright, time for some explosions. Uh, our, our brain vendor is going to die. Oh well. Oh well. That procs the block. This is for six. Could use one more trickster here for the finish. Trickster would be basically guaranteed lethal. These guys are ready, so it's just going to be... Ah, oh, nerf. Uh, trickster's still lethal. That black IP is kind of utter insanity. Come on, trickster! Oh, there's teleport. Uh, I, this is not good. Well, puts another minion on the field. We can teleport it in if we want. What's up, foof? Squash. Okay. Uh, let's see what we get from the teleport here. Maybe it'll be something good. Come on, something good. This <laughs> black IP is still insane. Uh, getting a rocket here would be nice. Oh! Oh, is that lethal? Oh, it's very close. Very, very close to lethal here. So, um, we'll stick this right here. One off. Come on, man. Give this man one damage. Need a plumber to the face. Uh, here's this. Uh, summoning. No. Well, I can get summoning next turn. Uh, what do I use instead of blue stacks? I use screen mirroring. It's an app called SideSync. You can look it up. It only works for Samsung devices. Uh, there's more fireworks. No. Um, and deal with all this. La la la. Proc the block and get go for go for summoning. We can actually just clear his field. <laughs> we need to block. Well, let's see here. If we do this, hold on. We'll start with this. Listen. If we proc the blocks, if we get summoning, we win. If we get lightning bolt, we win. I think we just let this hit. Do I go with this one? No, we'll, we'll play for summoning or for lightning bolt. Yeah, that's fine. Play the option here. Hopefully he doesn't think of summoning. We're for sure going to block the A damage. Uh, Espresso Fiesta is pretty sad. Ah! No! Uh oh. Uh, now we need... Now we need lightning bolt. For the win. What is this? Ooh, wow. <laughs> that's a pretty good pickup from Cornucopia there. Alright, one and three for lightning bolt. Uh... Come on! Bullseye! Oh, that's right! <laughs> Top Deck Madness is here! Ooh, played that one. Played the stats. I wasn't expecting Cornucopia, but alright. Oh, kind of winged the first game there, but we are 1-0. Oh. That's right, Rusty Pay to Win. I'm giving Rusty Pay to Win a very low rating. I, I think that, I don't know, I haven't had a lot of good experience with it, but maybe someone can teach me how to play Rusty Pay to Win. It just, I don't know, it doesn't seem to stack up to the other decks. Uh, not very competitive. Here we go. We're looking for Trickster or for um, or for Barrel of Dead Beards. I think I get. Well, this is so good against. Uh, yeah, it's just because our our opponent is Solar Flare. We're gonna keep that. Ooh, they're summoning. Uh, maybe we'll summon in turn one. If we see a Poison Shroom, we'll definitely summon here. Uh, I think we save it now. <laughs> Everyone thinks I'm saying other insanity. It's utter insanity. Come on, guys. Um, am I gonna try the ideas? Well, I can't actually simulate almost any of those ones, the two turn, uh, you know, the turn two kills. Uh, it's, the, oh, there is one ZMEC one that actually, uh, if you try about 30 times, you could probably get it. Um, but I'm not gonna simulate them. I'm gonna, oh, there you go. Ooh, that's good. Uh, so we're just gonna start spamming some tricks here. Some tricks. Uh, I guess weed whacked. That's fine. <laughs> we're just gonna firework zombie this thing down. It's a useless card. Uh, let's do this. I will save the fireworks for whatever. Let's see what's in the box. Come on, pool shark. Oh, mini ninja. Oh, speaking of speaking of getting lucky summonings, it's utter with two T's. Two D's. I think that means like a cow's an utter. Okay, definitely can't fireworks here. Give this man some sour grapes. Healing. Oh. Mr. Fancy Pants. Mr. Fancy Pants with the healing. Uh, this is a dead card. I think we just put the pressure on. Should we try to teleport here? <laughs> we don't have anything. Teleporting one of these is going to be good. Should we proc the block and then... Uh, 
Nay. I say nay, nay. This is gonna die. We can fireworks next turn and plumber or something like that. Okay. Come on, mushrooms. Scorch would be fine. Anything would be fine here. Super here. Scorch or more spore. Give this man some mushrooms. Why is my username Fryum up? Because that's my nickname. My nickname is Fry or Fryum, actually. My real name is Ephraim. So, E P H R E I M. So, that's what people, when I'm growing up, they just call me Fryum and kind of drop it. So, Smork. Smorky, Smork, Smork. Oh, the combo is here. We got the combo in the house. Do we do the combo this turn? Uh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, uh, yeah. I say yes, yes. Uh, that'll be a 2 1. That's okay. Let's do it like this. Combo Wombo time. That's right. It's putting two cards for five, and you get what? You get a 4 3 and a 3 2. It's not bad. Just almost killed my own beam me up. It doesn't scream here. Yeah, it's, it's very glitchy and very complicated. I had to tinker with it for. I mean, with all of the. All of the, um. With all of the different apps I'm using for screen mirroring, I, I, I'm telling you, it took me so long to find a way that works, and you have to just keep on tinkering with the OBS and with the game capture, and it's, it's really, really complicated, uh, streaming with, with screen mirroring. I found it complicated. Some people say they found it to, to be simple, but... Alright, this is doing some decent damage here. The lucky number is 12. Uh, that procked the block. Uh, let's see here. Do we have... Nope, not even close. I wonder if we teleport just to draw a card and charge the trickster. Let's see what we get here. Telepathy wouldn't be... Oh, the lucky draw. Are you kidding me? Oh, chickening. Speaking of lucky draw, chickening plumber looks good here. The chickening is in the house. And we can, we're going to trickster next turn. Give this man... Ooh, cherry bomb. Cherry bomb. Nice and fancy. Fancy pants. Here we go. Um, this is actually lethal. This is going to be turn 7 coming up, right? We'll do this now. It doesn't really matter. Uh, teleport Trickster wins. Yeah. Oh, rolled a 1! Teleport Trickster wins next turn. So that's... I Unless this Solar Flare can cover all four lanes. It would have to put mushrooms in every single lane in order to not die here. 6 plus 6 is 12, and we have a teleport in hand, so... What a shaboof. Um... Yes, I did win the last match. It actually was a kind of a weird, narrow win, but... No! Healing! Oh, I guess that's how you do it. Okay, well, we can teleport Trickster Trickster, I guess. Oh, this looks pretty good. Here we go. There's a rocket. Uh, we're going to do this one here. That's fine. Wow, another one. How unlucky is this guy? We probably won still. Uh, because we can trickster right off the bat, so if we roll a one or a two here, we it's also guaranteed. With double threes could save. Nope. That is lethal, folks. We can do it the fancy way. But nobody cares. No oh, healing a little bit. Too bad. Get this guy out of here. <laughs> Tricksters so You can't rush down this deck because of the combo at the beginning. The early game anyway just alone is very, very strong. There's no way to get into a foot race with this deck. Maybe a really aggressive Captain Combustible deck could actually contend with this. Yes, I absolutely will be doing the best zombie deck, so I'm going to be working on that all today. Should be up by tonight. So that'll be the best zombies of 2000, uh, best zombies of 2016, 2017, whatever you kind of call it. Chick thing's really good in this matchup. Oh, there's only two plumbers. To get rid of the teleport just in search for a trickster. Uh, or some early game. Oh, there's a trickster. Okay, it was worth it. So we'll just try to utilize our tricks. Ooh, there's telepathy. That's good. Total win rate in Ultimate League? Yeah. I think PopCap actually has that stat lying somewhere, but they don't tell anyone. Maybe I can, uh, maybe someday we'll, we'll know. That would be cool. Uh, my, my, my win rate actually in this game is a little bit distorted, just because I, I'm always trying all these random bad decks. Uh, you know, if I was just playing Professor Pay to win, I'm sure <laughs> my win rate would be higher. Oh, the fireworks is good. Come on, mushrooms. Let's go, mushroom spam. And we have <laughs> fireworks chickening chickening. It's like a pretty good setup. Oh, the punish room. He's trying to get really greedy, but... See you later, punish room. Get that guy out of here. 
Uh, should you buy one legendary or four jack-o'-lanterns? Jack-o'-lanterns, I, I don't think would, should be actually your first pick for sparks. Uh, pine clones would be better, for example, usually. Uh, no, let's just draw cards here. We'll save. This will be useful, you know. There's chickening bait. That's annoying. That's four damage, actually. You know, watch out. Did he did he super to face here then? Draw some cards. La, la, la. Ooh, there's dead beard. Ooh, the combo's in the house. Yeah, uh, we're chickening looks good here. Pine clone? Ooh, pine clone would be good. Well, pine clone can chickening and then fireworks next turn. We're gonna take a lot of damage still, but alright, it's definitely chickening. Give this man a pine clone. Pine clone would be brutal here. Uh, we'll do the. Oh, there's that. Uh, I think we do this. It'll charge our block meter. It'll prevent three more damage here. It'll make us. I mean, the firework combo will take this out anyway next turn, but. Uh, whatever. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, we could also teleport one of these in, but teleporting in tricksters at this point is going to be the play, so. Um, what do our tricksters look like? I'm actually colorblind, so I can't. This will be at 5, and this will be at 7. Uh, so we can teleport trickster this turn. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it's a good opportunity to teleport trickster. We could do these. I think let's just start with the teleport tricksters. Uh, yeah. 20 health, empty block meter. KFC. What is this? It's too much damage. Um, let's just put the pedal to the metal here. There's that. Die. Damage time. We're down to 7 health. I actually really have to watch out here. Poison Oak could win here. Ooh, we need to save a trick or something. There's that. Haha, -ha, it's exploding time! <laughs> Is it exploding time? Uh, 2-2... Two, two. And two? Or bonus attack? That looks fine. Ha ha. Die. Die. Double dead beard. And we can beam me up. We can bonus attack. We can do a lot of things here. You know, if we see, like, the poison oak, we'll just beam me up. Squash. Ooh. Mr. Fancy Pants, huh? Um, so, uh, we're not going to pl actually play this here because this will explode. This will hit for four. And Trickster usually wins next turn. So, we'll, we'll, we'll just leave it like this. We can fireworks this down if we want, but there's no point. Alright, it's explosion time! This actually hits, because it explodes before it reaches lane 2. That's why you always want the one exploding there. Trickster usually wins here. There's another one. Um, can we trickster and play a trick here? This is 6. Ooh, it's risky. No, well, chickening's actually better right now. Um... We can do Viking. I think Vikings actually actually Viking and bonus attack wins. Uh, play around Cherry Bomb. Sure. Again, if we need to, if we need to, we can stick a we can stick a beam me up here. This is actually better than Trickster, because if there's a block, then we could actually lose this turn. Healing. Okay. Uh, this is still lethal. Bonus attack. We can do a bonus deck here actually, and drain that drain that block meter, drain the swamp. Uh, that's fine. So bonus, it's definitely bonus attack. Uh, this should be lethal. I mean, our opponent, again, would have to roll a three right right off the bat in order to make this happen. They should have spaced these out a little better. Yeah, probably. All right. Here we go. Come on. Yes, that's guaranteed. All right. Viking getting it done with the bullseye. The big bullseye card. All right, we're 4-0. That took about, <laughs> took about 25 minutes. For four wins. Is that good? On tomorrow's stream, we're gonna have Fry's basketball skills. Now, get this basketball. Oh, Professor Pedo and Ooh, Citron. This is actually not a good matchup for us. There's actually a lot of things Citron can have that can uh, mess this up. Brainana and, and nuts. <laughs> if you have a, a mirror nut deck with Brainanas, it would actually destroy this deck. Ooh, I love this hand. Uh, do I get rid of it? Let's just keep this. Hopefully, we'll get a trigger for the dead beard. Ooh, there's telepathy. That's good. <laughs> Jubal. You can dunk. Liad, you can dunk. 
You're right. Oh yeah. Do what? I actually know. I'm 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 actually I actually take that back. I don't know any American I actually know one American Jew who can, but Israelis there actually are a lot of Israelis that got some real hops on them. So You're right, I actually have seen a bunch of Israelis dunk before. I can't dunk. I can't even I can jump like like six inches in the air. I got no air. I have like these thick thighs, you know? Alright, that's fine. Okay, thanks for all the details. <laughs> What's going on? Give this man some hops. My hops are... Ooh, we got the combo! Uh, we could uh, teleport this in. Yeah, we'll save the teleport for the tricksters. We have two packing two tricksters. I love having four tricksters in the deck. It's so great. Ah, uh, there's trickster number three. <laughs> we're going on a trip to fly a rocket ship. And we're gonna own this guy. Okay, so what is he packing? We saw a bean already. Um, this is going to be a bean deck. I think we'll save this to kill all of his beans. So let's just draw some cards this turn. We could teleport in a, you know, a dead beard if we need to. If we see, like, two admirals, I think it'll be worth it. Well, two admirals and, like, a, uh, I don't know, and a weenie beanie. There's that. That's annoying. 3-4. The rescue radish. The value. Ooh, there's another one. La, 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 la. Okay, I think we start playing now. Pretty sure we start playing the game. Oh, there's chickening. I don't know. What do we do? What's the play? I guess this is the play? I think we'll start off slow. Yeah, we'll save the field clear. This kind of just trades. Gets rid of this 3 4. We're just playing kind of control right now. And, uh, you know, we can chickening next turn if we need to. We're probably just going to go for the field clear. Hopefully, he'll just spam some small. Oh, Mr. Fan Mr. Fancy Pants is in the house. Friend request, uh, I'll take matches at, in about an hour and a quarter. That'll be at 2.45 p.m. p.m. What do we do? What do we do? He used his citron power on a 3-3. That's okay. There's another dead beard. Oh, it's going to hurt. Yeah, let's just go with this. Die. If not, we can activate these next turn and kill this thing. Watch this guy, like... Rescue the rescue radish or something. That would be cool. Wait! No! He's taking advantage! Not allowed to do that! <laughs> no! It's the answer to Barrel of Deadbeards. He's getting a 5-4, we're getting a 4-3, and, you know... Anyway, that's all good. Die! Uh, this doesn't even take the damage. Oh, come on, man. Give this man some cake. We could use a rocket right about now. Wow, we're down to 12. We're rolling, we're rolling double ones. Uh, chickening plumber looks awfully good. Awfully good. Oh, yes. Give this man chickening plumber. Well, actually, let's calculate the block meter. Is it better to... No, we'll do the tricksters later. Chickening plumber this. Oh, the chickening is good. There's Admiral. No. Uh, we're going to have to finish some of this stuff off. Okay. So it's going to be chickening. Die. Now what do we plumber? What's worse, the four, the f extra damage now? Uh, I guess this is kind of the most annoying, even though that thing could grow. Which one do we plumber? Yeah, I guess five plus five equals lethal. So, do we use the teleport here? Nay. I say nay nay. Where's the block? Where's that? Teleport Viking is probably the best play. Maybe killing this is the best play. Just to get this minion on the board. Yeah, looks pretty good. This is seven. We're not going to do anything except for this this turn. Should we teleport already? Let's just do this. I want to play slow. We have a nice big board here. We're at six health though, and again, you know, some beans could really get us here. Die, bean counter. This citron's bringing it, it's a lot of damage. And, uh, are we gonna see Admiral? No, there's some beans. And <laughs> magic beanstalk. Okay, we'll proc the block here. Uh, things are looking pretty good right now, actually. Whoa, things are looking extremely good. Why do you put this, this bean here, though? That was a really weird play. Oh, wow, that hit. Okay. Um, teleport Viking wins. Yep. 
We're going to save it for Teleport Viking. Teleport Viking in lane one. Uh, so again, he's going to need Admiral and a couple things here to survive. Give this man... No. Oh, come on. He played around Teleport Viking? Really? Uh, ouch. Uh, so now it's going to be Teleport. Um... This is actually the best play. <laughs> this one. Well, wait. No, we can Viking and Plumber. Oh, we got both. Top deck Plumber. Wow, Top deck Madness is kicking in. So that's guaranteed lethal, yeah. Okay. Alright, we got him. Top deck Madness. <laughs> he actually played around Teleport Viking. This guy must know what Professor Paytowin is. How did he make a play there? That was so strange, but you know, he saw it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We're getting useless tickets. I don't know why they keep giving you tickets. They should just eliminate that. All right, 2048. This seems like I'm in the future now. It's kind of psyching with my brain. Vikings are actually good in this deck. I thought choppers would be better than Vikings in this deck, but it seems like the Vikings actually have their use. Teleport Viking, come on. Uh, so depending on the scenario, everything's good except for this. Uh, don't need two of these. Rocket. What does Plumber take out of his early in the game? It's just Sting Bean. That's basically it. Let's look for a Trickster. Oh, second. <laughs> uh, do we keep the chickening now? Some don't want. We don't either. Since we have two two of these, oh, we got chickening anyway. I was thinking just since we have the two the, these two, I don't really need chickening. Oh, Eureka's a good pickup here. We need some cards. What's up? Yes, I'm older than I'm 28. What is that? It's bait for our things that are not going to happen this turn. Come on, dead beards would be good. Give us something good. Ooh, rats! What a perfect pickup! Ha ha ha! Top deck madness, rats! Unlike for the party in this deck? Oh, maybe. Oh, top deck madness is here! <laughs> yes! You know, it'll kill this anyway with the uh, fireworks. It's Juggernaut. Not good for us. Oh, I hope, wish this was a squirrel. Ah, oh, that would have been it. That would have been total insanity. Anyway. Uh, now what do we do? We have to deal with this Juggernaut at some point. I wonder if we just sacrifice our rat in order to deal with this Juggernaut. There's that. Do we sacrifice our rat to get to Spencer Pratt? We can do this next turn. La la la. This is immune to the fireworks damage. Doesn't really matter. Is this too much damage to take? Should we sack a rat? Uh, he could just berry blast. He's probably just gonna berry blast this thing. Let's just draw cards and see what happens. We're overdrawing, almost. We're gonna have ten cards next turn. No, no! Come on, man! Wow, he's taking advantage of us here. That's nine. Oh, hey, the combo's here. Even though this juggernaut's immune to all combos and everything else that is good in the world. Come on, Juggernaut. That's harsh. Now what do we do? I know, we dead beard and we um and we beat me up. That looks pretty good. We could have teleported in on there. <laughs> it was the only thing I could think of that rhymed with rat. Uh, pair cubs are annoying. Very, 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 very annoying. Actually, this just kills this thing. Bah! What are we gonna do here? Chickening next turn? This is really sad. This is utter insanity sadness. Uh, this thing's just gonna die. Oh well, we're just preventing the damage. Whoa, this Budo is really bringing it. He's got every answer so far. This destroys our guy. These two is just gonna be clank. Clank, clank. Well, this deals with this theoretically now. Uh, is chickening even good here? I have no idea what to do. Uh, these two? Oh, that's not bad. Well, can. Oh, what, is there a different play? Yeah, this looks fine. Go, kangaroo! Ah, Kangaroo Fireworks is a combo. No, it's an anti-combo. Uh, is Papa Fry here? 
<laughs> no! No! Oh, we have rocket now. Uh, this is bad. While well, we're taking so much damage. If we win this game, no, uh, there's that berry blast we were dreading. Come on, man. Ah, oh, super. Super harsh. I don't know what to do here. We're taking 7 damage out of 11. We're down to 4 health. It looks like this is going to be our first game going down. It is going to take a miracle for us to survive here. How in the world are we going to deal with this now? Oh, what do we do? What do we say? Rocket, beam me up. Rocket. Chickening fireworks? No, it doesn't even work this turn. Okay, here's how to die. I guess Juggernauts get against the deck. this deck. The early game. Come on, man. Okay, so this is fine. <laughs> He's playing around chickening by playing this thing. No chickening for you, my fine sir. This will proc our block meter. Hold on. Are we back in the game? Now we can't fireworks or else this big monster... Brrr. I don't know what to do here. Urgh. We need a miracle. Are you ready for a miracle? Ready as I can be. Are you ready for a miracle? Truth will set you free. Are you ready? Are you ready? Do we teleport something in this turn? Ready, 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 ready. Uh, chickening, teleport, dead beard. Uh, it's something. Let's see if we can get some chickening value. Chickening teleport dead beard doesn't look so bad. Nope. Oh, chickening's good. Pine clone! Uh, wait a second. No! Chickening teleport dead beard still does it! Yes! <laughs> Look at this combo! Look at this combo! Oh, this is so good! We're right back in this game! Teleport! Dead beard! Oh! <laughs> this is how you feel the clear. Okay, how do you deal with pine clones? What a great play! What an amazing play! Oh! Kaboom! Get out of here, pine clones! <laughs> that was so good! We actually can still win this game now. Oh, what do we do? Uh, we do this. We're just going to do that. We can teleport one of these in if we need to. Oh, that was amazing. Uh, we can do bonus attacks. We're going to have to teleport one of these in just to prevent every every point of damage. We got you know, we died a berry blast if he hits us. So, cannot let this guy proc our block. Teleporting one of these in at this point. We actually could survive here now. Yeah, we're going to be able to get another dead beard. There's that. Um cannot let this proc our block. So, I think we still need to do this play. So we're going to go with this. We're actually going to do this now. Oh, there's Trickster. Yeah, cannot let him proc our block. He's probably just packing a Berry Blast in his hand or something like that. We have to play around Berry Blast. Uh, there's that. That's fine. Uh, I think we bonus attack with this just to kill this thing. We cannot let anything survive. Uh, we're doing 8 damage to his face right now. That's fine. Trickster's looking pretty good. Uh, there's a one, three. Okay, the blocks are kind of average. Pretty averagey blocks. Uh, ooh, Trickster. Ooh, this is good. Wait a second. Teleport. No, wait. Viking bonus attack. This looks really good here. Hold on. Could we actually come back and win this game? Are you kidding me? Definitely no trickster yet, but you know if he tries to make a a, a play here, we're just gonna bone we're, the bonus attack. I mean, he has to front this Viking with something, or else the bonus the bonus attack is gonna drain his block meter. We're gonna have a guaranteed lethal this turn. Ah, wait. Um, buff shroom. Hold up. So proc the block. He might be packing a berry blast. There's no point. Well, we want this, and this will do two damage to us. 
Uh, wait, and then Trickster wins next turn. Uh, I think this works, actually. I'm pretty sure Trickster is going to win in lane 3 next turn. This will proc the block. Do 4 damage. There's nothing he can do that can actually deal damage. Ooh, wow, and that didn't actually block. Uh, you know, he would need... He can't do 5. He would need... This is going to proc the block. He's going to do 2 now. He just has 2 damage. Oh, he rain wins. No. That dies. Trickster wins! We're actually going to win this game with 1 health! What is going on here? That's going to proc the block. He didn't get rain. Where something doesn't even matter. We don't need it, but we'll, we'll do it anyway just for just for kicks. Uh, but we can play dead <laughs> alive ghost. Okay, that's fine. We didn't even need it there, though. We would have had one health left. And Trickster comes in. He, this is guaranteed lethal. Are you kidding me? We actually won that game? The come from behind victory. 1 to 18 health on the play with the teleport chickening teleport deadbeard on his pine clones. What just happened? <laughs> That was amazing! What? Oh my... I cannot believe that happened with his Grapes of Wrath on the board. Come on, man! Come on! What a game! What a game! I cannot believe we won that. I cannot believe we won that game. Oh! That was total... That was totally insane. All right, here we go. More Professor Pay to win. You don't want the bonus attacks early. That's kind of like lady game. We'll keep this just to charge the uh, trickster. It's kind of good against Rose too. Ooh, telepathy. That's good. Draw some cards. <laughs> All right, telepathy is a perfect start here. We just want more tricks, and we'll hopefully get some here. Uh, so we'll start with the beam me up, I suppose. <clears throat> Not really worried about snowdrops. I'll uh, probably just beam me up here. <clears throat> Come on, man. <laughs> that, was, that was completely insane. Come on, <clears throat> make a play. Okay, well, we'll go with this. Again, lucky number is 12. Teleport Trickster wins if they have 12 health and a uh, relatively empty block meter. So, um, <clears throat> we're not going to play this yet. We could play this. 2-2, two, 3-3. Two, three, three. We could be Plumbering's better here. <clears throat> Hammer. Hammer time. I think we're going to go with this now. Uh, pass. Pius. Pius. Oh, there's that. Oh. Uh, do we just do this? Ha, ah, dead beard. It's actually good. I'm going to put the dead beard here. It's actually not bad. You know, it sets up for next turn, whatever the play is going to be. Ooh, there's Winter Squash. Oh, now what do we do? Uh, Plumber does two damage, three, four. Uh, bonus attack gets it. Don't need the Plumber here. Okay. That's fine. Winter Squash, that's harsh. Oh, we'll do this. And we can either beam me up or whatever this turn. Kind of want to kill that Winter Squash. So a plumber, a plumber does kill this. Bonus attack kills it. Anyway. There's dead beards. Bonus attack the barrel. What is this? Freezing that one. So, um, I don't know about this 3-2 being alive. Is it important enough to spend a bonus attack? I think we're just going to plumber this thing. Does he have a second freeze? Cattail. Now what do we do? The plumber here is really good. Maybe we'll spend the bonus attack now. Hopefully this doesn't come back to bite us. Could really use another fireworks dead bird combo right about now, but anyway. Actually, no, the fireworks... Oops, the fireworks takes us out next turn. Oops, what am I doing? Wow, that was a waste. No, the fireworks takes us out. That was a misplay. I should have I should have just plumbered whatever. Oops, that was a bad play. That was my bad. No, it's definitely fireworks here. I mean, could teleport now. Oh, I, I hopefully that's not going to come back to bite us. Uh, again, we can plumber and beam me up here. Let's see if this gets frozen. If it does, we'll just trickster that thing down. What is that? I'm freezing that. Come on, man. It's a lot of damage. 
So we can trickster this down next turn. I think we prevent the damage though. Uh, we're gonna go with you. And with you. Can't tell. Oh yeah. Whoa, what's this? Awesome comeback, King. Give this man a donation. Thank you so much, Dan Cannon. So <laughs> in honor of that moment, it sounds like a feels like an NBA hi highlight. Uh basketball like uh, in honor of that moment the uh you know Budweiser donates a thousand dollars to the Miller Scholarship Fund or whatever uh what do we do here what do we do this trickster is usable we can teleport it in this is just gonna get frozen it's gonna die a miserable death we have to play the slow the slow game here though unfortunately this is our play and, uh, I don't know, chickening at some point. Maybe killing the Winter Squash is better. It's probably our opponent's running a little bit low on Freeze. There's Beans. That's fine. Um. Give this man a brain. No! Ouch! That hurts. We're, we're in huge trouble here. We're in major, major doo-doo. Uh, is there any blocks that could really get us? Summoning... I guess I'll go with this. Yeah, why not? Call me on my cell phone. That's actually not bad. More cards is good. I think we have to trickster this down. There's chickening. Ooh, chickening, chickening. Eh, uh, nah. Well, teleport trickster is actually very good here. You know, if we need to chickening, we'll leave that option open as well. If we chickening chickening actually might might end up being the play. Depends where our opponent plays here. If it's like two snowdrops and a freeze. I think it's chickening chickening. Yeah, that's fine. We'll take two damage here. Here we go. Here we go. Now we gotta take this out. Block meter. Oh, beam me up is good. So we can beam me up and teleport something in. That, that's definitely the play. Uh, this does. Ooh, probably gonna beam me up and teleport in the Viking and go with the Trickster next turn. That looks fine. We would like to teleport the Viking in here. Oh, that's good. This is very good. So beam me up. Teleport. What's in the box? This is this is so cheap now. There's bonus attack. Viking. Whoa, we're really close to lethal. Hold up, wow, we're one off, we could've, well, and it wouldn't have been lethal, but this will charge a block, and this will kill this thing. We're in a really good position right now. We're in an extremely good position. This Viking's getting us right back into this game. Cannot let her block and get go to fire, transmogrify, or something like that. Uh, the beam me up is so good here, just to finish this, this winch him off. We're down to six health. This row is definitely bringing it with the freeze. Uh, freeze decks can do it. There's that. We're gonna play, we're gonna play this. She's not going to be able to, she doesn't have like Doom Shroom, so the bonus attack is going to work somewhere. Uh, let's do this. You know, Trickster will win next turn at least. We're going to try to bonus attack and hit with the Viking. That'll just be guaranteed. Well, this is also guaranteed, so she's going to need to cover both of these this turn with something with more than, you know, six health. It's going to be very, very difficult for this rope to survive. I guess even freezing this, because we can do a bonus attack out of the freeze. It's it's really not looking good for our opponent. Plus, bonus attack with the beat me, even the beat me up bonus attack basically works. Uh, ten, it was squash, squash. I guess would be the play. Healing, K. Okay. Uh, do I like the NBA? Yes, I actually like watching old games. I find them all over the place. Shift teleport first before the beat me up. Why? Freezing, this one. Freezing this one. Wait, so this doesn't. Okay. Um. We'll use the bonus attack. This is uh, this actually clears the field. It's not bad. Uh, yeah, it's guaranteed lethal. Yeah, it's guaranteed. Trickster wins. Roll a one. Give this man a one. This actually clears all three of these. Pretty good, but yeah, that's the game. Okay. Whew. In terms of coming from behind and doing so much burst damage towards the end of games, you know, when the opponent's in double-digit numbers, it doesn't even matter. I mean, it's, it's just a number with when you're running tricksters in these decks. 
Give Trickster another nerf on <laughs> 2050 stars. Here we go. All right. 